Hello, Internet. I'm Shane Ormond, and this is Noel Berlin. Welcome to Fact Tech, a, a technology show with 5% more statistics. You can talk to us tonight on our Twitter, at Fact TV, and also our Facebook. Coming up on tonight's show, One Direction are to release their own sex doll, aptly titled One Erection. Eccentric billionaire Bruce Wayne is being treated for histoplasmosis, a disease mainly contracted from bat poop. And finally, with so many bushfires spreading in Australia, are women worried about their own? Bushes. <laughs> Just to ring that one <laughs> home. Uh, okay, kicking us off first this week, rumours have emerged of what the Samsung Galaxy S4 might look like, and it's expected to be released in March, uh, in or around the 4th or 5th or so. Um, that is it behind us, as you can see, it's just one big long screen with a tiny bit of plastic. Um, it, it looks pretty much like every other smartphone ever. Yeah, well, Samsung, I suppose, like Apple, or any company really, they don't really change their design that much but I suppose what's interesting about this is the fact the screen is even bigger yeah. now as I wrote on the effectv.com website during the week my worry with the Samsung Galaxy S3 and indeed the S2 before it was the screen size I felt like it was almost too big for your pocket and is it was slowly starting to turn into a mini tablet is that what you have is that a no I have a HTC that was the one thing putting me off yeah was the size of the screen and even with the HTC HTC desire HD that I have Sometimes I find like my cheek or my ear hangs up because the screen oh, is so big. Just, it's just like you know, yeah. a fat face. They should up. invent some sort of cheek fat people technology for for iPhones, just so that they don't do that. Yeah, um, we, should, we should look into it. <laughs> we should patent. Yeah, guys, patent that quickly. Someone write that down. Um, um, yeah. So the screen on this one is four point nine nine inches, which give or take is about twelve centimeters. <laughs> yeah. So it's. Noel spent about 10 minutes working that out before the show. Yeah. Give um, or take. I had a couple of things to compare it to, so it was a pretty quick sum. <laughs> um, yep. <laughs> yeah, but they've also ditched the, the buttons at the bottom. There used to be buttons at the bottom of the sang yeah. Samsung, but they've got rid of those as well, if this um, leaked picture is to be believed. So all the buttons will be in the... Everything's on yeah. the screen now. Um, it's quite a fast phone, as you'd expect. It's got a 2 gigahertz processor, 2 gig gigabytes of RAM, and I mean, some of your laptops you can buy now yeah, that's kind of a standard, and some even come at 1.5. So I mean, well, I think the standard that people usually compare it to is like NASA had nowhere near as much computing power when they sent people into space, and we can barely send a bird into a bunch of pigs. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, uh, the camera as well on the phone. It's 13 megapixels, so that's yeah. better than you know some cameras you can buy today. That's more megapixels than I generally use. <laughs> I'm good with about like six. That's about 12 more than I normally use. <laughs> uh, the front facing camera as well is 2 megapixels and it's going to have Android 4.2, yep. which is the latest iteration of Android. I definitely think this is going to be stiff competition for the iPhone 5. I mean, it's already emerged that Apple's latest phone, which only came out in September, isn't doing as well as expected. Uh, Apple have apparently cut down on the production of the phone. They've cut the number of screens, which yeah. are component parts like the screen. So it's believed that the, they aren't selling as well. If we don't see a price drop from Apple soon, they're going to be gone in three or four years. Yeah, I think they really need to kind of bring out a cheaper phone. But it, w it was funny, last week, rumors were rife online that a cheaper iPhone was to come out. But then they quashed the rumors because they're all about quality yeah. and their profits. We don't make phones for peasants. <laughs> yeah, don't be foolish. Uh, so basically, iPhone brought out, uh, Apple brought out one phone last year. Yeah. Samsung brought out 37. <laughs> So they're, they're obviously cleaning up, and the interesting stat that came out last week as well was that they're selling about 500 phones a minute mm. worldwide. So since we started this broadcast, there's been, I don't know, maybe 2,500 phones sold. Uh, did we sell them? No, alas. No. But we're working on fat people technology, so. <laughs> yeah. In your face. We'll, we'll be in the money now in a couple of years. <laughs> yeah. that, that's inevitable. We'll see who's laughing. Yeah. Uh, you've got some news about Pokemon. Oh, uh, yeah, the, the new Pokemon game was announced. Um, and it's, it's big news because like, the announcement of a Pokemon game isn't huge because they bring out one every couple of years. Um, but it's in full 3D, like full polygonal 3D, um, which they've never done, which is surprising because they've had the technology for like 15 years to do it. Yeah, so why do you think there has been a delay? It's so cheap to make. It makes so much money anyway. It's probably like a balance. Also, you could say that there was a certain amount of style to the overhead um, 
whatever. gameplay. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, they were just lazy. I don't know. Uh, um, we'll have a quick look at the trailer and see how it looks, and uh, we'll talk about it a li little bit more after that. Discover a breathtaking 3D world. Encounter new Pokemon. So as you can see there, some uh, amazing new Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, they pretty much three new shade Pokemon. Uh, the one that you missed as well at the end of that was actually the worst one. It's just like a frog with cotton balls stuck to its face. Dangerous. Yeah. What does um, he cure? Makeup? <laughs> what does he cure? Well, what does he fight? What's his purpose? What is, I don't know. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Have you ever played Pokemon or anything? Uh, I, I used to play the cards. I never did the whole gaming aspect yeah. of it. Okay. <laughs> You're just asking questions. <laughs> yeah. Just what does he cure? <laughs> um, did he invent penicillin? <laughs> <laughs> I think like the, the trailer looks great. Uh, what? <laughs> the trailer looks great. Um, it, it's kind of very Wind Waker-ish mixed with, um, you know, Professor Lupin's knocking about solving puzzles or whatever that's called. Um, I think Not it looks that anyway. <laughs> I think it looks nice. I think uh, there's like a little bit adventure thrown in as well. Uh, you know, swinging on vines and stuff like that. Before it was very kind of like hindered, like you could walk only in four directions and. Uh, the trailer that we, we saw there was pretty much just walking about, yeah. um, which is just what Haven't you do. Haven't given away too much. <laughs> yeah. uh, how long do we, do we know have we re a release date? Like, do we know how long we're going to be uh, waiting? Another no, 17 we, years? We don't have a release. <laughs> just another 17 years. We don't have a release date, but um, presumably it's on the 3DS. It'll be sometime this year, sometime I think. This year. Probably for the uh, Christmas market, maybe. I loved the announcement of it. Um, here we have the, the, the CEO of Nintendo here. Yeah, at the start of the clip, if we could cue that up, um, the CEO, I presume he's the CEO of, is it Nintendo? Uh, yes. Um, yeah, basically he, he tries and introduces the game, um, but it, it's quite entertaining. We'll just let you watch it and uh, make of it what you will. It's not coming up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Another Action time. Here we go. will be introduced to Nintendo 3DS. Take a look at the next evolution of the Pokemon world in this video. So that, that's basically it. One, yeah. I like the bowing bit. I yeah. think we might have just missed at the start as well. He, he mentions that there's three new Pokemon games and then puts up two fingers. Yeah, there's a bit of an announcement. Three new Pokemon games. English barrier there. Um, Is no one at Nintendo, was no one at Nintendo going like this? No, two. Yeah, just a buck down the back, Sean going, <laughs> I could do that, never mind, just started. <laughs> yeah, so that's, we're looking forward to the Pokemon game and I'm sure we'll keep you up to date um, as to its progression as well. Don't forget, if you want to contact us online, you can do so on Twitter or Facebook, just check out fecktv.com. We do welcome all your thoughts and opinions. Uh, the next one is an interesting one. Microsoft are working on a new gaming system, kind of. It's called Illumi Room. It's not a gaming system, it's an no, attachment that's for the Xbox. Kind of. kind of, not really. Um, um, it looks amazing. Uh, if this video that we, we have queued up there in a minute, if that's to be believed, it really is like amazing technology. And what it is, it's, it's... Well, it is and it isn't. I mean, you'll see in the video, it's kind of just a projector. It, not, not like an amazing step forward in technology, but just it's, it would, it's very interesting and it's a new level to video games. That, it's definitely like, more immersive for very the gamer. Very much so. Um, it's probably going to cost a lot of money. Um, I don't know. I mean, people were expecting the Kinect to be a bit... Yeah, but expensive. you're looking at over a hundred bucks there anyway. Um, yeah. they're, they're not very cheap like Xbox. Um, but it, it, it actually looks incredible. And what, what's, what's amazing about it is that it renders in real time. Mm. So when you're running through the game, it's actually like doing that, like yeah. doing the computations around oh, it. No, it looks amazing. Well, yeah. Let's have a look at the, uh, the, the trailer here. I love that room wobble. 
The room wobble is probably the highlight of it. I said to you earlier, I don't know how they're going to do that. I mean, it's going to be quite hard to work really well, I'd imagine. I, I would presume it maps just the dark points in the, the room and then like casts like a slight line there and just moves. If you're kind of facing head on, we'll say, towards the television, it, it'll probably just be in your side view anyway, so it'll... It mightn't, you know, you won't be concentrating on it as yeah. much, so it might look well, okay. Microsoft say that that was um, a live recording and that there was no post-production done on it at all. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks unreal if it is re if it is real. Yeah. <laughs> um, but certain elements, like it's still running there in the background behind us, like the snow, and it's just kind of like the snow. The snow looks great. like they just inserted it with CGI, though. I thought. Uh, but then Microsoft claimed that they didn't, um, mm. and I would presume there's like legions of men out there analyzing every bit of the video. Um, I presume it's just an optical illusion, yeah. um, more so than anything else. It'll be interesting to see how far along they are, as in, are we expecting that this year or next year? or? Well, the fact that they've announced it, I, I would... Or do you think maybe it's, it's going to be coming out in the Xbox, like the next year? It'll iteration? probably be the 720, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, we'll probably be looking at that. The naming of the Xbox is going to get out of hand. I mean, 720, <laughs> and then what's after that? Just a crazy amount of degrees. Yeah. 1,000. Just like an Xbox rotating on a pedestal. <laughs> uh, yeah, so again, like the Pokemon 3D, we'll be keeping an eye on the Lumi Room. I'm very interested to see where that goes. Yeah. They and should call it the, the Microsoft Room Wobble. Because that's the best bit about it. <laughs> room Wobble. Wobble Room. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, the past two weeks, kind of... The CES has been taking place in Las Vegas. That's the Consumer Electronics Show, where basically all the big boys and smaller companies as well come out and show off their products that they hope to sell in 2013. It ranges, as in the variety of things at CES is unbelievable. You can have anything from fridges to cars to you know washing machines. Uh, Samsung are actually bringing out a fridge that has basically a built-in screen it's you can use access the wi-fi and you know do various things <laughs> Why via do you need to access the wi-fi on your fridge i don't know it gives some reasons like you can check the weather in the news and yeah link up to the juice yeah, yeah. see what's happening uh, no but you can get ingredients off the internet and things like that but yeah. we're not looking at that we've kind of picked our highlights from the show um what's your first did, did you want to go with, with one of your bigger ones first? I, I, I think I'd like to lead into this after. Um, well, I wouldn't really call them one of the bigger ones. I've chose two that are specifically linked to sleeping because I didn't realize there was such a market there for trying to get people to go to sleep. Um, the first one we'll have a look at is the sleep phones from Acoustic Sheep. Their tagline, and I quite like the tagline, is pajamas for your ears. <laughs> now, as you can see from the image, it pretty much is just a headband. It's a fluffy headband. Yep. When so you, you, like, I, I was pretty sure that you were going to come out with two big technological advances. No, not I, so much. I'm not going to lie. I didn't, I didn't pick one that was huge either. <laughs> yeah. We went down the kind of zany route. Um, that this, actually looks great. I would totally wear that. Yeah, there was, there was one image online of a guy and he just had it around his eyes and it was just like, did he not get what they're <laughs> for? Uh, basically, in the headband, they've built in little speakers. Yeah. Now, it was actually released in 2007, but at the time it still had the cord connected. Yeah. So basically, you had a cord running out of your, head, out of your headband into your, we'd say, iPod or whatever it's MP3 player It's the single worst is. idea ever. Yeah, so it took them six years, but then, <laughs> you know, they realised, hey, we can just use Bluetooth. <laughs> so now there's no cord and the audio you can stream from any Bluetooth enabled MP3 player. Yeah. Um, it, it's a good idea, but I don't know if I'd pay this much for it. I have it written down. I think they cost $80. $80. $80. They're going to be on sale from April. We can make our own. Just put a couple of headphones in a... But that's it. I mean, you're able to take the, the earphones out because you can wash them, wash yeah. the headband. So, I mean, you literally can make this yourself. The older version, we'll say Sleep Phones 1.0, costs $40. They are expensive. Yeah. Uh, no, I wouldn't pay that much money at no. all. <laughs> Good idea, though, but yeah. again, I didn't realise it was that $40 much of a problem. $40 to wake up in the morning tangled in your iPhone <laughs> yeah. cord. Like, yeah. um, <clears throat> Do you want to tell us about yours? Yes, this is a, uh, a product from CTA Digital, which is a very impressive sounding company. Yeah. And they have designed the iPotty. Okay. Now, the iPotty is your average toddler potty, uh, and it's got like a little desk that you stick the iPad in, and now your three-year-old can play with the iPad while he poos. Again, didn't realize there was a market or a need for it, but no, apparently I, I, there is. I didn't think that, that toddlers used iPads that much. Like, is he checking his stocks? <laughs> <laughs> Just 
Uh, well, you do see kids though a lot more, you know, they're well able to use their parents' phones, probably some yeah. of them better than their parents. And you see some of these iPad games though that are just like crap, you know, like oh, things going like past the screen and they're just going like... Slab, killing bugs and smashing yeah. things. Smack yeah. the expensive equipment, the <laughs> game. <laughs> While having a poo. <laughs> yeah! Um, but I presume you could probably slot in like a leap pad or, you know, a kid's tablet. Yeah, you, you probably could if you want. Um, I, I would actually look like for something like this for, for adults. Um, <laughs> you can just hold it in your hands. Yeah, but what about when you're wiping and stuff? You know, because I've, I've got my iPad now up on the music stand. Okay. You know, so you can Why just... Why do you have a music stand in the bathroom? For the iPad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, Fair do you, enough. what do you think? <laughs> I don't know, directing an orchestra? Yeah. Um, okay, so that's an interesting one. I, I don't think I'd buy one. I, again, if it was for adults, maybe. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, it does not. The second product, as I said, I'm focusing on sleep-related ones, and this one is pretty much the same idea, but they've uh, brought out what's called the Soft Sound Pillow. Uh, an American company have done this. It's basically a normal pillow with memory foam, like innards, yeah. but they've built in speakers into the pillow. This is you know, the exact same product <laughs> as the last one. Kind of. The yeah. target is different. Like the, the earphones, the headband, is kind of targeted to listen to music while you sleep. Yeah. This is kind of like if you're in bed, whoever's beside you, your partner is nodded off, but you still want to watch, you know, the end of a TV show or yeah. some porn while they're sleeping. <laughs> you can do so with the speakers built in in the pillow. Yeah. Um, so it kind of like, they just kind of rest behind your ears, but they've kind of done it in such a way that the memory foam covers the speaker so it's not like ah oh, there's a speaker there yeah, when you fall yeah. asleep and then there's controls on the side of the pillow again you're able to take out the the speakers and the controls so you can wash yeah. the pillow you and the cover. You could do that with the Bluetooth headphones as well you could just plug that into whatever device you're using to watch. Yeah this works over a wireless Sorry. transmitter so it connects into your into your TV and works straight off the bat. So um, basically all of your stuff was crap that enables you to do stuff that you can't do when you're asleep. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How much would you pay for that? How much would I pay for that? Um, I wouldn't really. Considering really it's just a pillow. <laughs> can I just put my speakers behind my pillow? Yeah, you can just lie on your radio. I'd 100 say quid. 100. Yeah. Ish. Ish. Yeah, as in, you know, they've yet to fully confirmed, but it's yeah. looking like it'll be around 100 euro. You can haggle. <laughs> yeah. Ish. Um, it's really expensive for a pillow. Yeah, no. Um, unless you get one of those magic pillows that like cures you of all your ailments. Yeah. Well, it is memory foam, so that's always yeah. always a plus. Memory foam never forgets. Yeah. Uh, you have one more product. Yeah. Um, Nissan announced the uh, their driverless car. Google have already got one, um, and they've actually been driving them around. I think Nevada for like the last two or three years. Okay. Um, Google actually have a good uh, like record of this. They've only had two crashes uh, out of a fleet of these cars going for the last two years. But haven't they said it's not, they have no intention to put it on the market. They're just kind of doing it yeah, for themselves right now. Google just kind of do whatever they want because they have so much money, but they are working in conjunction with Hyundai, who I would think would be eager to get it out on the market before Nissan. Which I've learned is actually pronounced Hyundai. Really? Mm. There was an ad on when I was in the US and the whole ad was just about how to pronounce Hyundai. Yeah. And the whole thing was like, Hyundai, like Sunday. <laughs> when, I was in, story. <laughs> when I was in North Korea, uh, people couldn't pronounce Chevrolet. Did I say that right? Chevrolet. Chevrolet, yeah. So there was, they had an ad campaign and it was like, Chevrolet. So they, they kind of were like, eh, that's close enough. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. Uh, but back to the driverless car. Yeah, so um, it's going to be electric as well because the, the CEO of Nissan is, is very big on electric, even though the, their, their electric car that came out last year completely flopped. Um, CEO of Hyundai, you mean? Nissan. But they're working with Hyundai? No, Google are working with Hyundai. Hyundai. Oh, and Nissan are also working on a car. And Sorry. Nissan are also working on a car separately. Um, they're not going to hit the market though until 2020 because they don't really have it the technology wow, way off. Yeah. Um, and actually this week California made, um, made uh, driverless cars legal as well as um, Nevada and Florida? Florida. Yeah. It'll be an interesting one because it is actually something that could be highly beneficial. You yeah. know, when, once the technology gets there, like as someone said here, you can use it, uh, you could use it um, as kind of like a taxi home after a night yeah. out. So it might help eradicate or at least decrease. I'm not road getting decks. a driving license. I'm just, <laughs> just going to buy a car. In 2020. Magic car, take me home. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how that, how that does develop. I That's kind of how I treat you now. Pretty much. Yeah. Take me to work, Noel. I'm tired, take me home. 
Yeah. I he says snack. other things as well, but they're more X-rated, so let's not go there. <laughs> um, oh, I thought of something. You know about Pokemon? Yeah. Um, how do you get Pikachu on a bus? How do you, how do you get Pikachu on a bus? You Pokemon. Because he's a character. Every week, no. Every week. But it works. Every week, no. Because he's a character no. on no. Pokemon. No, not And you can, you can poke him on. No. All right. Well, that's it for this week's Fact Tech. Um, I'll be back next week. I'm not, I'm not sure if Shane will. Um, and I'll be back with more killer jokes. Talk to you next week.